Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in again for another run, as you can see I'm falling straight from the last one. Oh no, I've just moved my thing. Get it back in place. I didn't mean to move you, I'm sorry. Is that back in place? It looks about right, there you go. Anyways, let's randomise. Oh, Tented Keeper. Please, yes, Tented Keeper. We've done a few runs of this guy, we're gonna go Dark Path this time as him. It feels good to get back into a character that I can, I'm not going to say confidently say I can win, but a character that I feel more confident winning. Uh, you watch, I'm going to die in this very first room, aren't I? I'm actually kind of scared of this room, to be honest. This is a potentially tricky room. Good, good. A little bit of pen skis right off the bat here. Hoping to get enough to make some work of our shop, because shops can be pretty good with this guy. Item room, I'm not going to check for now. I'd rather hold off for a planetarium because I might not be able to afford the uh, item room item anyways. Damn it, missed out on some pennies this time around. Wheel of Fortune there. In fact, I'm not going to look at anything until I can afford something because it's just going to pull it out of the item pool otherwise. And it's it's like, it's just kind of pointless. I'm going to get a big room here. That's kind of nice. It's one penny. I'm going to try and literally get every single one I can here. Every single one I can. I don't want to miss out on a single penny at all. Because this will put us up to 15, I think. Or just a little bit over, actually. Yeah, 15. This will put us up to exactly 15. As long as I don't miss out on a single penny or get hit. Beautiful. Now we can go to the shop and feel pretty good. And see what we might get. There's some good stuff in here. I think Black Candle for me is, is the first choice. Shoop de Whoop would have been second, and Cat and Nine Tails is still kind of a good choice, to be honest. Did we uh, have any... Nah, we didn't have any keepers we can take advantage of in there to get some pennies. If I get another 7 cent, I will take um, Thingy, but I think Black Candle curses could be so bad as this guy that it just makes sense to go for that. Okay. After the boss, we might get enough here to um Ooh, will this guy give us a penny yes he will okay just i'm just gonna ignore you for a minute boss there you go now we can kill the uh the champion one damn it many mistakes were made here do not die okay we're good we're good no stop getting so close to death you idiot Damn it, it didn't even give me a penny. That gave me a penny, thank God. Thank God. Because I was really worried for a minute then that we were going to die straight away again. I've been on a bit of a losing streak recently, I have, I have. But it is, uh... It is a little scary, but on the topic of money, what is your guys' sort of dream job slash dream, like, situation? In terms of, like, living, what, where do you want to be if you if you had as much money as you needed? I don't mean, like, if you were a millionaire, but if you had as much money as you needed to do what you want, what would that be? What would an ideal life look like for you? I'm actually really happy where I am right now. There's not much else I need. Um, I, I don't earn a crazy amount, but I earn enough to, like, live my life the way I enjoy. Um, let's go back over. It's a bit sh shame to leave Piggy here, but I think uh, the shot speed damage up will do just fine. Um, yeah, and I gotta say, I'm in a pretty happy spot right now. It's, it's really nice for me, and it's it, I like being able to do my YouTube and all that good stuff. I just need to pause one second. Yeah, okay, I'm back. Yeah, it's just be interesting to see what you guys, like, what, what that would look like for you. What, where would you want to be if you could be in your ideal spot? Some of you might already be there, some of you might be close. It'd just be interesting to know, I guess. Um, it's always interesting to hear what people's, like idea of happiness is you know it's it because it just varies for so many different people i know obviously there's a lot of people in the world that are very materialistic i mean i wouldn't say i'm like super materialistic i am a little bit i definitely do like my comforts Ooh, i'd very much like to get that if we can get flight i very much do like my comforts and a lot of them i couldn't i i, I wouldn't say i couldn't deal without but i'd rather not deal without sort of thing um so there's a lot of that sort of thing going around where there's a lot of things that i'd, I'd rather rather not have to give up but i don't know it's i wouldn't really say it's like the source of all my happiness so to say it's not it's not as if like those comforts and the materialistic things are really what keeps me happy i i think i could oh that was a shame the webbing slowed me down i think i could very easily be happy without them 
uh, but it just kind of ease you along. I think for me, one one thing I've, I've said before, kind of what my sort of idea of happiness for me is, is just being stress-free. Not having stress for me is, is a really big part. Ooh, I'll just take champion belt right off the bat here. Um, not being stressed for me is a really, really big part of, like, leading a happy life. Uh, I know that a lot of people, like, in their work and generally do kind of like stress and thrive on it. I'm not saying that they want to be stressed, but stress is kind of a motivator for them. For me, it just kind of cripples me. I If I get stressed, I kind of shut down and I find it really difficult to function as normal. Um, so I, I really prefer to live without stress whenever I can. I'm liking these spiders we're getting here. Um... I will crack this open. And I'll crack this open too. I'll crack this open, and I'll crack this open. And I'll crack this open. God damn it. Health up, yay! <laughs> and now I'll crack this open. I just want enough money to get a, a devil deal. Anyways, let's go. We got we got a, a, a kind of a theme going for items so far. Two black items and a red item. Let's get some more red items in there. Okay, we got the pin coming in. There we go. I love doing that. Although the pin didn't drop any money, is that that's something that's meant to be able to happen? Anyways, we're kind of coming up short this floor. I'll try that other room and see if we can get anything out of it, but I doubt that's gonna really come to much. Our item rooms have been left high and dry right now, unfortunately. That's just the way it goes sometimes. But I, something I kind of just want to talk about real quick. I was talking about it briefly at the very end of the last episode. Some of you, if you didn't see that episode, didn't watch till the end, might not have heard me talk about it. But uh, I'm recording this back to back from the last episode. And right near the end of the last episode, I had to pause because my girlfriend messaged me and was like, just interviewed Hopper, lol. And she means David Harbour, the, 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 act, the actor that plays um, Hopper from Stranger Things. And she sent me a picture, and it looks, like, remarkably like him. Um, ooh, hell yes. I'm very glad we got the money for that. Uh, it looks remarkably like him, and I'm kind of like, is that actually him? Because I just did a Google and learned that he does spend a good amount of time in the UK. So it's actually plausible, and it looks like uncannily like him so i kind of think she actually interviewed david hopper which is actually insane um yeah like she has interviewed the famous people before i was kind of talking about that in the other episode as well like she's interviewed one of the older doctor who's and things like that so it's not like super crazily out of the ordinary for her to interview a famous person but this for me at least would be the most famous person in my mind that she's ever interviewed at least relevant right now, because we are, like, in the middle of watching Stranger Things Season 4 right now. And she's getting to interview the person that Buddy starred in it. Like, one of the main actors in it. And just before even Stranger Things, he was a highly respected actor. It's kind of crazy. So, I've just messaged her, like, is that actually him or just someone that looks really like him? Because it might just be that it's a camera angle that makes it look like him. And also, she sent the text very nonchalantly, like, just interviewing Hopper, lol. And, like, I feel like if she actually was, it would be a... A far more substantially fangirly um, message, and I'm not, it's not, not because she's a fangirly sort of person, but because I would be too. <laughs> um, D20. D20 has some sauce to it. I'm going to take D20. More planetarium chance, nice. Now that's a lot of trinkets. Um, prevent Starbucks from spawning, replace pedestal mimics with haunted chests, and then not. Do you know what? I'll take that. That's kind of good. What was the other thing that was in here? Oh, it's this. That's fine. It's that trinket that's invisible for some reason. But yeah, I've kind of got a little bit of an idea brewing. I need to not die first. I've got a bit of an idea brewing, and I want to see how it goes. Spawns a restock machine. That's really good. I'll just keep that on me. Is that another health up pill? God damn it. It works... Okay. It works kind of. The D20 can reroll things. 
But if it does, they also fade away. So it's not super useful. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought it would re-roll and they wouldn't fade. So I thought I could, like, get free consumables and stuff. Not really the way it's working there by the looks of things. A little bit of a shame, but also completely understandable. So. See if we get another devil deal here. I should really go with 30 cent whenever possible, which I could have probably got this floor, but I'll take the L on that. I think I want the Grimace thing, by the way. Just go back this way. Yeah, I kind of think I want this. It's pretty good. Gets rid of all Grimaces. It does give us Black Hearts for them, which obviously is useless for this character, but just getting rid of Grimaces in general is kind of nice. What the hell? Okay, I managed to get the dime at least. I was going to be so annoyed if I didn't grab a single one of those pennies there. I was like, why the heck so many? Anyways, we've already amassed a good amount of planetarium tents, and we just got more this floor, another 15%, so I'm just going to take this item room. I don't, I don't think I need to skip another one. Fuck it, lord. Fuck it, lord. Unfortunately, it's not very good. Oh, although we do have a restock machine on this floor, and plenty of money to play it with, so... Yeah, I think we should take advantage of that. But yeah, it's kind of it's a kind of interesting an interesting sort of thought to kind of go over what is happiness for different people because it's like some people it can be so basic like just getting to see your family and having a meal on the table at the end of the day for some people is enough and that's perfectly fine. I think I think to some extent that is similar for me. Like I am pretty content with just leave it leading a nice simple life. Uh, let's go in here and check this out first. Grants two. Uh, oh, that's also pretty bad. But the other one we don't have to pay for, so. I'm not about to do a lot of backtracking here, but it's okay. Um, right. Let's grab the Grimace thing first. Thank you. I quite like it. Yeah, um. It, it just, it can vary so much from person to person. I, I feel like it kind of comes from, for one, your upbringing, but for, for two, like, kind of your, your life experiences. If you're someone that's, like, struggled with um, addiction, struggled with um, just past trauma, it, it can maybe just be being away from that life and... Hmm... Yes. I, I know it seems weird because I can lose it, but it gives you such a huge fire rate upgrade. Though I think it's worth it. What else did our shop have in it, by the way? I don't remember. Range rocks from the sky while held. Range rocks in combat. Rocks have your tier effects. May not lose charges. I don't know. I'm just going to leave that for now. Yeah, and... I, th I think, like, your upbringing can be quite a big part of it, too. Like, I... I got raised... I, like, my parents are great. They're, they're, they're still together and they're still part of my life and everything. I, I really, I obviously love my parents a lot. Um, and um, it is it is kind of interesting because I wouldn't say that they did anything too extreme one way or the other. They were very middling parents. They never they were, they were never super relaxed with me, but they were never super strict with me either. And I feel like that's helped me a lot. Um, I feel like a lot of people I've heard have, like, parents that are just absolutely ridiculous. Ooh, I'll go with that. Uh, yeah, well, parents are absolutely ridiculous. Like, I, I read quite often on, on Reddit through uh, Insane Parents, which is literally just stories of parents that are absolutely ridiculous. And it is, it is insane what people have to go through. So I think for, for a lot of people that have to go through that sort of stuff, just being away from that life and having something normal is kind of a great idea of ha happiness. But I think for me, because I had a really sort of pretty happy childhood, really, that's kind of, it's it's not that I feel like I deserve more, but I feel like to to really feel like I'm making the most of it, I kind of want more than that, which I, I don't know if that sounds a bit selfish because some people don't get it, but I suppose it's all tailored to what you want and what you need, so. But I gotta say, I, I kind of hope to in the next few years be able to go on holiday what more with my girlfriend. Obviously, at some point we'll end up getting married and I don't know, we might have a kid. I, we, we've kind of spoken about it. I don't know if it's like properly decided on sort of when that would happen. Um, 
at this point in our lives. I mean, I'm only 24, so I don't have to rush. Um, and we're just going to kind of see how it goes. And that, that really, being able to stick on this path and just kind of keep down the path I'm going on now, I'd be really, really happy. I'm able to just find out what's going on with, with my with my job in the future as well. I work at a startup that I've been working on for about two years now. It's going reasonably well. And if it goes even better, like if the, the product becomes public and starts ma making a lot of money, then it could be really, really good. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 it's kind of interesting. It's going to be cool to find out. One thing I am definitely glad about is I, I kind of nepotismed into my job uh, a little bit. I didn't really, but I kind of did. So I, I didn't specifically, like, uh, get my job because uh, of someone I knew or a family member. But I did get referred to my job by my girlfriend who gave me, like, a good sort of stamp of approval. But then I had to still go through the internet. Pr internet. Um, I had to still get, go through the... Um, I don't know why I said internet. Still go through the interview process and be picked for the job sort of thing. Uh, I will take that. So it's not like I got off scot-free and just got the job through nepotism alone. But I think it's, I think unfortunately in the, in the world of today, that's just how you get every job. It's who you know almost all the time. And obviously, like, I do actually have merit is, is one of the reasons I got hired. But a lot of people that, that get sort of the through you know thing don't have skills and don't have really what they should have to get the job. Um, and so it causes, it definitely causes a lot of issues. We really want to make sure we don't get hit here, just because, uh... Oh, for one, we could die here. I gotta be really careful right now. I just gotta, I just gotta get him killed, there you go. We lost some glass crown stats. And the thing is, the first thing to go is, uh, is fire it, so... Good, and good, and good. Horf. 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 I love that. Horf. <laughs> why, is, why is one of my keepers headless? <laughs> Look at him. This guy's got a head. This guy, no head. Why has he got no head? That's strange. I am confusioned. Let's keep pushing forward. Oh, God. But yeah, I think we set ourselves up very nicely here. I got hit again. My glass crown's about to run out. It's... I'm kind of like whatever at this point. It's fine. I just want more fire it. I realize there's like multiple opportunities I could have bought fire it at this point. This could be secret rooms. Check it out. It is. Oh, it's pills as well. Really? Wow. False PhD. And three things that literally do nothing. That is top tier. Absolutely top tier. Oh, what? What the hell hit me then? Oh, there was some creep on the ground. I did not see that. Oh, I wonder how this room will work. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that, that, that guy, I probably wasted a lot of money on him, but... We're at the point now where we don't need to worry about the money all too much. Yeah, how's this going to work? The mind is definitely a grab for me. Oh, I'm I'm dead. I, I made many a mistake here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Do you know? Do you know? I'm playing really, really really bad recently like how many de how many deaths have we had in a row now i just keep playing it way too risky and doing things that are just silly and that right there was a prime example of just silly anyways we're gonna run it back again why the hell not it's the eternal enemies and eternal bosses i swear man i i am i have to say though i'm happy for it i tried to make the series more tough i tried to make the game more difficult and i most certainly succeeded in doing that we're about to die again here please don't tell me yeah, we most certainly succeeded in doing that, so props to me, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I keep feeling, like, embarrassed, like I'm supposed to be this skillful player and I'm playing really badly. I keep feeling like, oh, God, can I upload this if I die? But I'm honestly like, people aren't here to see me win. They're here to see my demise and hear, hear me talk about random crap. At least I hope that's the case. I'm sure some of you are out there going, eh. 
He didn't pick up a coin. Hey, I'm gonna die. Or like, oh, he didn't win this. He not not an optimal play. Missed tinted rock. Missed tinted rock. But I'm sorry, but if you if you wanna calm down, game. If you wanna uh, watch the the videos like that, then this ain't the place for you, my ladder. Because. I don't play optimally a lot of the time. I play risky, and I have learned if we're playing Tainted Keeper, don't go into an eternal thingy room unless we have insane damage, which after losing our crown, we most certainly did not. With that crown, might, might have been a bit more plausible. I could have just walked out as well, but it's like, meh. I think, I, could I have walked out? Maybe, maybe Sagittarius doesn't let you walk out of those rooms. I don't, I don't remember. I honestly don't. Also, I did I did forget the Sagittarius does give you infinite money, but you don't, I didn't really need it. But it does allow you to get infinite money, which is pretty cool. Oh wow, that guy's looking saucy. Right. Um. Hmm. I think this is just the most obvious choice. Um. I kind of would like to get this as well, but I doubt that's going to happen. On a floor, forty percent chance of trying to curse if you would have got one. Kind of good. But Mask of Infamy is just too good to, to not take here. It helps us too much. Anyways, let's keep pushing on. Okay. Slightly annoying boss. It got you. At least we can damage him through damaging the head. If you couldn't, it would, this guy would be way more annoying. 13, not quite enough. I would have bought Roid Rage if we got enough there. Still not enough for item room either, so we're going to keep going. And we're just going back down the same path again here. Why not? As I said, if I die before 20 minutes, I'll always roll it back. But if, if it's after, then maybe not. I, I don't remember what this guy does. Okay. Just keep moving is the key to this dude, apparently. Golden Penny. Hell yes. That kicks us off to a real good start here. Real good start. The shop on this floor better be muy bien, very, very tasty. Otherwise, the big sad is coming its way. Can't shop. Reveal yourself to me really early on in the floor. Be a, be a buddy. Be a pal. Take care of that guy first. Try and grab all the money we can. You may be noticing that we're getting spiders, by the way. That's a mod that I've got to make it so that the keeper gets spiders instead of flies. Because it, like... All the, the, the artwork is for the Keeper is all spider-themed, then he gets flies for stuff. It just doesn't really make a lot of sense, so... Got a mod that changes that, because I think it's fitting. And now that they do the same damage, it's just like a visual thing. Right, we probably want to go to the Devil Deal first, just to see... I don't know, I'll see. Because with 30 cent, you can get more from Devil Deals. You can get two items or one good item. Do you know what? Let's... This is an insane room. What the hell's going on in here? Am I going to die again? No. Oh, no, I might. I might. I'm dead. Holy hell. What is this room? <laughs> the hippity hoppers are just too much. The hippity hop, they don't stop. My lord, we got a lot of money from this room, but god damn, I was on the brink of a disaster there. Ooh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Crack those locks open, fellas. Okay, one of you set on fire. Okay, both of you set on fire. That's annoying. I'm going to leave that penny there. I do not want to get involved with this speedy motherfucker. Right, where is my shop? Damn it, game. Miss out on another nickel. Missing out on a lot of those as of late. Calm down, you. Quit! Yes, got it. This is difficult. Oh my lord. 53 coins, though. Doing well. Okay, we've got some slick patches. Game. <laughs> Some nuttily buttily rooms in here. I'm not getting any of these pennies. Why are there so many slick monsters underneath me? 
I can't handle this. The Pyrons are doing their thing as well. I can't even hit them. There's just too much slick, man. Like, there's so, there's so much fire. I can't even get to them. And they're just creating so much lag. <laughs> Dude, get over here so I can kill you. <laughs> they just keep blocking all my shots with fire. Stop it. Dude. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I thought I could slip. I, I, the dime. I wanted. Ah. Ah. I just wanted the dime. Ah. Oh my lord. The, the pain. The pain that is today. Oh, the tragedy. The tragedy. How many, how many episodes has it been since I got a win now? Oh, good golly gosh, it's a lot. Oh my lord. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to end it there. Oh lord, that is, that is what I would call the deepest of depressions, but my god. Oh lord. Oh sweet baby Jesus. I am playing like a bag of morons right now. That, that there was a case of impatience. Basically, I was like, I want the dime. I could have shot the fire to get rid of it. I'm like, I don't think I have time. I think I can squeeze. I could not squeeze. The squeeze could not be had. And I have perished ultimately once again. How many... I am on a, I am on a fat losing streak right now. I'm on, I'm on like a, a minus fucking eight or something. I know the streak doesn't reflect that entirely because I've been testing on this while I've been losing the streak. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. This has been tragedy after tragedy after tragedy. And yeah, either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.